base plate, wide bed. Um, that must be this. Narrow bed with T-track. The 45 degree support blocks. Let's see, the support fence uprights. And then these are the support fence base. And then a bunch of screws. The two that come in the bag with the uh, Allen wrench are shorter. These are part H. The 26 of them that are the same are part G. The knobs with the washers and the T-track bolts are already assembled together. Oh, they want you to assemble this on your table. On your table saw or your... No. I get it. This goes into here and will cause these to expand. That's kind of cool. So you get a snug fit. Okay, that's adjusted. The problem is when this thing expands it, it expands it on the bottom. And I've got one of those miter slots that's keyed. So this balloons out on the bottom and it slides. But it's then hard to lift up out of there. But it's tight. Next step to assemble the wide bed and narrow bed together. This, is, this one without the T-track is a little tiny bit wider. Probably to accommodate for the thickness of this. So you do that with a bunch of these screws. Why doesn't that line up better? It's about... Almost an eighth of an inch off. Who manufactured? Who was the guy on the line who did this work? Normally I would build something like this myself, but and I figured the parts were going to be precision, precision machines. I guess you set that aside. And all these blocks go on here like this. So that that can sit in that cradle. If this isn't precise here, then the whole, then the whole accuracy of the thing is going to be compromised. God, I had one of these that I had made really quick from a one-off job, but I threw it away because it was pretty crappy. I actually burnt it. So these actually have little inserts in this, it's kind of like MDF, that these screws go into. So I'm pretty sure if I was to really torque down on these screws, I'd just pull out those inserts. One thing I didn't do before buying this, it was such a good deal, I didn't put it in the car. Well, I didn't read the reviews, and that is usually something I always do. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Much of the stuff I'm complaining about probably doesn't matter to how the thing operates. I'm just a whiner.
place the wide bed and narrow bed on the 45 degree support blocks with the narrow bed with the T-track on the back side of the jig. The blade's going to come right through the middle. So this is going to be the front. This is the back. Okay. Your blade's going to come right up through the middle. These are the stop blocks, those big pop-ups. That's good. Those are tall. So this is the Eagle America uh, Spline Jig Pro. The accuracy of it is fine. Um, when I put a square in here, um, it's, it's square. So a, a well-made box or tray or whatever you want to put splines in is going to fit in there fine. It's got these tall fences on the side to support the work. And those are locked down into T-tracks. You can see the knob over here. Um, and those... Uh, those have a little bit of variability in them, but um, when you tighten it, if you just push it down here and tighten it, then it's basically dead on. It's got this adjustable um, miter bar. Uh, the downside is you can't adjust it once it's on the rig unless you take it off the rig. And taking it off the rig requires you moving, removing screws um, that are kind of underneath this, this tray. And so that'd be a pain to get to, especially this one that's way up um, on here. But uh, I tightened it on my Powermatic, and it's and it's pretty good. The only the only problem I see is that my miter slot is keyed, and so the way it tightens is it sort of balloons it out at the bottom, and so that expands into that key. And um, so lifting it out of the miter slot isn't going to really be easy, but sliding it all the way through is going to be is going to be fine. So. That's it. Uh, you know, I could have built one of these, and I've, ha I've built uh, one-offs in the past for particular products, but I don't want to build a bunch of jigs. I just, if I can get them for cheap, and they're well machined like this one, and they come with the T-tracks and the fence supports, and they're adjustable and all that, then I just want to get them and have them, and not spend a lot of time on them because I got a backlog of real projects that aren't shop projects that I want to do.